Okay, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. I'm going to be doing another thermostat configuration video. This is a Honeywell Focus Pro 6000. There's the model number. As usual, I'll put a link below to the uh, user manual. Here's the thermostat. In order to get into the configuration menu, press the middle button, the up button, hold them down. Okay, first menu item, same as on the uh, 5000. You'll notice a lot of these are going to be the same as on the Honeywell 5000. Um, anyway, this, this is uh, first menu item. It's on 10 right here. It, basically, this has to do with how many stages of heating and cooling this has. On 10, it's set up for three stages of heat, two stages of cooling with auxiliary. So, heat pump operation like that. So, number two is the changeover valve. This is the... Uh, you know, one would be energized in heating, and zero is energized in cooling, the OB terminal, and that's the way we want it. Number seven, this is the cycle rate of auxiliary heat. Uh, five is the factory setting. We're going to leave that there. It can go up to 12, I believe. We're going to leave it on five. Number eight is the cycle rate of emergency heat, which is the same terminal as auxiliary heat. Factory setting is nine. We're going to leave that alone. Number nine is the cycle rate of the first stage heat pump Y terminal. Factory setting is three. We're going to leave that alone. Number ten is the cycle rate of Y2, second stage heat pump or second stage compressor. Factory setting is three. It'll, you know, same as the other one, it'll go up to six. We're going to leave it at three. Okay, number 12 is manual or auto changeovers. Um, you can either have total manual is zero, manual and auto is one, and automatic only is two. I'm leaving it on zero. Okay, 13 is this is the important one in the 6000 series. This is the adaptive intelligent recovery. And one means on, and there's nothing else. Zero is off. I'm leaving it off. 14 is temperature display, Fahrenheit or Celsius. We're going to leave zero is Fahrenheit. Going to leave it there. 15 is compressor protection, one through five. It's how many minutes you want to delay the compressor between calls. I'm going to leave it at zero. 16 is the schedule format. So this one um, is for if you want the programming feature to treat the weekend days differently. Or if you leave it at zero, it's at it's the weekdays are programmable and then the weekends are programmable. If you put it on one, the weekdays are programmable and then Saturdays programmable and Sundays programmable. I'm gonna leave it on zero. I don't program the stat anyway. But um, okay, next 27. That's your high limit, 90 degrees, and 28 is your low limit, 50 degrees, and you're back at one. So we're done. Okay, so let's make this thing work. Um, we're in off right now. Let's turn it on to the uh, heating mode. Heat system's on at 70. Okay, hang on. So on this one, we're going to have to, it'll say temporary at first. And you got to hit hold if you want it to do that. Okay, and we turned on first stage compressor and G. So we turned on the fan and first stage compressor. So we're heating in first stage. And we can go higher, and it will not matter. Just like on the 5000, um, it doesn't have a quick, uh, you know, like a, a set point spread that if you put a large enough spread in it, it automatically brings on the, uh, the second stage. It won't do that. It'll wait one minute. And I am going to stand here and show that because that's one of the confusing things. You can see the thermostat says what it says right now. Y2 is not energized, so it is, you know, it only says system heat on the thermostat, so we're going to wait. It'll be, you know, about one minute time. I'll probably be able to keep talking that entire time, as, as I usually am. Okay, there we go. Turned it on. Nothing changed on the thermostat. It still just says heat on. But we are now heating with the, um, the second stage. Compressor. And it'll be another minute, and then we'll get the W terminal will also energize, and it will 
that point, I believe, say auxiliary heat on. But we're going to wait and see what that says because I want to uh, I want to know what it says when it's energized the W terminal. Um, so we'll wait a second here and have that show up. And then I'm not going to get into programming the uh, the actual schedule of this thermostat just because I'm not inter interested in doing that. It's um, uh, pretty easy to figure out. And I guess this other stuff is too, but a lot of people are still confused by some of the internal settings when you go about configuring it. There we go. So, and then it did show up. Now it does read out auxiliary heat on. So as far as the thermostat is concerned, you know, as far as the readout is concerned, it will show you the difference um, between auxiliary and heat on, but it does not between first and second stage. Okay, now let's just test the other two things quick. Take that down to 64. We should shut this off. Okay, everything's off. Let's take this into emergency heat and give it a call again. Okay, and it should, uh, should come on. Now, I've noticed with the 6000 there's a little bit longer of a delay than uh, than with the 5,000, just in the, it's got a call right now, and it's on heat. We're asking for 66 degrees, it's 65. Emergency heat is what's been selected. Nothing is on. Okay, it looks like we might have to go up higher than that. We're going to take it up. Let's take it up to 68. There we go. At 68 we got it. It might have if I had left it at 67. So that's that. We have emergency heat. And again, and now it only just says heat on, but we're in the emergency heat mode, so it doesn't say auxiliary or whatever because it, it's treating it as, you know, the emergency heat only. Okay. Um, change the system over here to cooling. And then let's lower this to a cooling call. Set it at 60. Hold. Okay. Okay, so now we have the reversing valve, the o, you know, OB terminal, and then first stage compressor, and the fan are running. And just like on that other one, it's not going to do anything if we try and make a larger spread on this. It's just going to wait one minute, and, um, and then it's going to start that, uh, turn on the Y2 terminal and there will be nothing different showing on the uh, readout of the thermostat. It'll still just say cool on and uh, not cool on plus two or anything like that. So we'll wait for that to come on and then that's really uh, that's all I'm going to do with the, uh, the Honeywell 6000 here and I'll try and move on to a new thermostat. If people have questions about these things feel free to ask them in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to try to answer them. I'm no expert on these things. I'm just trying to uh, hopefully eliminate some confusion as to how to configure them and what happens when various item menus are selected. So there, we've turned it on and cool on. So, okay. So that's all we're doing on this one. I'm going to take it back up. And... Uh, that should shut these off, but it'll again, they always leave that O terminal energized if it stays in the cooling mode. If we turn it to heat, it should shut that off. Again, it, it takes a, uh, it seems to take a little bit of a longer, uh, slightly longer delay with the 6000 I found. But that's all for this one. Uh, thanks for watching.